This is Spain, and this is Barcelona, the city built by the sea on the eastern side of the country in the region of Catalonia. But even before famous Catalan architect Antoni Gaudi got his hands on the city, there was Ildefon Cerdà. Not only was he an architect, but also an urban planner and social theorist. So when the Spanish government decided to take down Barcelona's city walls in the 19th century, Cerdà was able to design a much needed extension to the existing historic city. In studying the city of Barcelona, the Spanish government was not entirely helpful and Cerda had to do most of the work on his own. He drew maps of the city and did a lot of research into the existing problems within the historic core. And what he came up with was this. It's simply called Le Chantre, or Catalan Fort de Extension. It's easy to see exactly what Cerda did by looking at the city from a bird's eye view. This is the meshing of the historic core and Le Chantre. On the top is Serdá's extension, on the bottom, the existing city. Serdá was informed by the growing technology of the mid-1800s and designed Le Chantre to meet new demands. First, he increased the width of the streets in this new neighborhood to better serve horse-drawn carriages, and he even proposed the seminal idea of urban railways. This compares to the historic center of Barcelona, where movement is restricted to much narrower streets. He also proposed some diagonal running roads in order to contrast with the rigid grid of La Chambre and to allow for a faster roadway through the neighborhood. Ultimately though, only two of these diagonal roads were realized. One of the most characteristic qualities of the neighborhood are the chamfered corners that Cerda uses throughout the extension. By cutting off the corners of each building at the intersection, there's more allowable green space and smoother traffic through the streets. Another novel idea that Cerda brought to Barcelona was the sewage system, reminiscent of those that he saw while visiting other European cities like London, Paris, and Brussels. His proposed system would get rid of most of the waste on the street, a huge problem in the historic city. So even though we can still appreciate Serda's design for Le Chantre and continue to use the neighborhood as a model of urban design, the architect was grossly underestimated during his lifetime and consequently underappreciated. He died without ever being recognized for his great efforts, but today we know him as the man who helped modernize the city of Barcelona.